Good evening and welcome to War Thunder. This is Old Dead Man. It's time for the Operation Summer event and therefore time for some more Operation Summer dev blocks. Today we're looking at the high tier aircraft that's coming up for the Operation Summer event vehicle. This is a naughty premium but is an event vehicle only. Let's see what we can dredge up for this rather short dev blog. The F-11F-1 Tiger was originally a privately funded attempt to modernize the F-9F-6 and Dash 7 Cougar design, which went in a radically different direction. The fact that this redesign had only a vague resemblance to the Cougar was not lost on anyone, and thus the Tiger was born. This new aircraft sported full-span leading-edge slats, trailing-edge flaps, spoilers rather than ailerons, and an all-moving tailplane. The wings could fold downward manually for storage aboard ship. Originally, this design was designated the XF9F-8, but with the advent of the more straightforward Cougar derivative, it was redesignated the XF9F-9, likely due to malicious desire to confuse historians and future game developers. She was originally designed to utilize the afterburning J65 engine, however that engine was not ready for the prototype. A non-afterburning engine was fitted for initial flight tests. Her maiden flight was on the 30th of July 1954, during which she nearly achieved supersonic flight. The second prototype was outfitted with the promised J-29 afterburning engine, and thus was the second vehicle in the Navy to achieve supersonic flight. The production model carried four 20mm Colt Mark 12 cannon and sported four hardpoints for various ordnance stores. The Wright J65W18 with afterburner produced up to 10,500 pounds of thrust. She served on carriers from 1956 through 1961 in seven different Navy squadrons on eight different carriers. The Intrepid, Lexington, Hancock, Bonham Richard, Shangri-La, Forrestal, Saratoga, and Ranger. She only served in frontline service for four years and was replaced by better performing aircraft such as the Vought F-8 Crusader. Only 199 F-11F-1 fighters were built. The F-11F-1 has a top speed of 753 miles per hour, a range of 1,275 miles, and a service ceiling of 41,900 feet. A later model of the F-11F-1F Super Tiger, of which only two were built, reached an altitude of 76,828 feet, establishing a world record at the time. The F-11F-1, redesignated the F-11A, served in second-line service with training and reserve units until the late 60s. The Blue Angels used the aircraft from 1957 through 1968. In 1973, two former Blue Angels F-11As were used as in-flight thrust control systems test beds by Grumman. The F-11F-1 is the only plane known to have shot itself down, as evidenced by the experience of Grumman test pilot Tom Attridge on 21st of September, 1956. And I quote, It happened on the second run of test firing, 420mm cannon at Mach 1.0 speeds. At 20,000 feet, Attridge entered a shallow dive of 20 degrees, accelerating an afterburner, and at 13,000 feet, pulled the trigger for a four-second burst, then another to empty the belts. During the firing run, the F-11F continued its descent, and upon arriving at 7,000 feet, the armor glass windshield was struck, but not penetrated by an object. Attridge throttled back to slow down and prevent cave of the windshield, flying back to Grumman's Long Island field at 230 miles per hour. He radioed that a gash in the outboard side of the right engine's intake lip was the only apparent sign of damage other than for the glass, but that 78% was maximum available power without engine roughness occurring. Two miles from base, at 1,200 feet, with flaps and wheels down, it became evident from the sink rate that the runway could not be gained on 78% power. Attridge applied power and said, The engine sounded like it was tearing up. It then lost power completely. He pulled up the gear and settled into trees less than a mile short of the runway, traveling 300 feet and losing a right wing and stabilizer in the process. Fire broke out, but... Despite injuries, Attridge managed to exit the plane and get away safely to be picked up by Grumman's rescue helicopter. Examination of the F-11F established there were three hits in the windshield, the right engine intake, and the nose cone. The engine's inlet guide vanes were struck, and a battered 20mm projectile was found in the first compressor stage. In War Thunder, the F-11F-1 will be a U.S. Rank 6 event vehicle. No premium bonus, premium bonus here, boys. Sporting four 20mm cannons, Sidewinder missiles, rockets, and bombs. Hope you're looking forward to the Operation Summer event, and we will see you in War Thunder.